Hi, this is Daphne and I'm doing a tutorial on how to use an Excel sheet to um, enter your receipts. So I've got my Excel sheet here and I've got my company name, subtotal, GST, total, the method of payment and the description. And um, I've made two sheets, one's called car and the other one's called education. So I'm just going to show you how to make an additional sheet. So say you want to have a sheet for travel. So I'm going to click here and this makes a new sheet. And then I'm going to double click right on there and I'm going to type in travel. And now I want to transfer the information from the top of my sheet here to the other one. So I'm going to click on the first cell, press shift, and then just click, just grab this first little section of information. I'm going to click on the copy button. And then I click on my travel sheet. I'm going to click just on the first cell here and then click paste. So it, it pasted it all in there and you can see education's a bit um, squished because the cells are all the same size. So I'm just going to double click right on the corner between A and B and that brings it up as, um, as long as it needs to. So now the full word education is there. So this is actually my travel page so I'm going to change the word here. Travel and then I would just um, delete all this information. So I'm going to, uh, I know that the date, so maybe I'll leave the first one just as an example. And I'm going to delete the second one. So I click on the first cell, press shift, click on all the cells I want to delete. And then I'm going to press this little guy here, and that's called clear. And it just clears the information, and I can go from there. What you want to enter is the company, the date, the company name. You don't have to enter, enter subtotal and GST and you just enter the total and we can reverse calculate these. So what that means is if you just enter all the totals, um, to get your subtotal you're going to click on this cell, you're going to type equals, it's right beside backspace, so equals this number, so click on this cell, divided by 1.0 Five because our GST is 5%. If you press enter, you get the number there. And then to get the rest, um, all the subtotals at once, you just grab this corner here of the cell and you'll see it turns into a little cross and you drag it down and it automatically calculates these, these subtotals. To get your GST, because you um, in the end you want to know what your GST is, you're going to click here, type equals, and then you grab your total, so click there, minus, you type minus, subtotal. And then you press enter and it gives you the number. And again, I click on the corner, there's my little cross, and I'm going to drag it down. And then I'll, I'll actually drag it down all the way so that we can calculate all the totals. So once you've entered all your information, um, you first want to do all the totals, then do this little calculations, drag them down your sheet. We're going to calculate the, the total of all the totals. So I'm going to go equals, sum, and you see sum comes up there, so I'm going to click that. And I'm going to drag this, you see that little bracket came up, I'm going to drag all of these, and then I'm going to press enter. And there's my total. Another way to do that is to select all the cells. So you click here on the first one, shift, click the last one, and then you click on formulas up here. And this is an auto sum right there. And it just shows up right below. You can drag the cell around. So if I got if I have my cross with the little arrows, I can drag it to where I want it to be. And again, I'm going to do it manually, equals, sum. I can put a bracket manually, select all of these, and then press enter. And those are my totals for my car receipt. So this is how much I spent on GST. This is my total here as well. So one thing you want to watch out for when you're doing um, entertainment or restaurants, I'm going to create a new sheet by clicking right here. I'm going to go back to car and I'm going to take this top part and copy it. So click on that cell. I'm going to click 
I'm going to copy up to here so I get the formulas that I have in there. And then in the Home tab, Copy on my new sheet, Paste. I'm going to label my sheet down here, double click. So this is, um, let's call this entertainment. So this will be food and restaurants and stuff like that. Because this is at a different tax bracket, so you want to, you, I double clicked here to make it long. So you want to add your tip, which is different from the total. So right in here, I'm going to click on the F field and I'm going to add um, a column. So I click up here, insert sheet columns. So it makes a, an extra column for me here. And then I'm going to call this tip. So say I went to uh, Wendy's, no, uh, somewhere with a tip. Joey Tomatoes. I'm going to double click here so the name shows up properly. I've got my subtotal. Those are still my formulas from before. So when I change this, it's get, my bill is $32. Those subtotals automatically change because they're in the formula. And I gave a $5 tip. Because you want to keep those separate um, from your food bill. And then when I add more, so then I went to Ria's, my total was $80, my tip was $8. Um, and then I can just drag this down with the little cross so that those little formulas are populated. So like I said before, you want to do all your totals first. But just remember when you're entering your entertainment receipts that you want to include whatever tip you put in. And description, I would put uh, meeting with web developer or um, at Joey Tomatoes, maybe I had a meeting with a student, those kind of things. Or with a client. And that's it. That's how you use Excel to keep track of your receipts. Hope that helps.